I have set up the simple Svelte application where you can see I have three links. The page is already loaded. The home link displays the index page. If you click on About Us, you will get the About Us page. And if you click on Contact Us, you will see the Contact Us page. The issue happens when you click on the Back or Forward button. In this case, I will click on the Back button. And you can see that instead of navigating through the links, I went out of the page. In this video, I will show you how to solve it. The first thing I have is something straightforward. I have a few components, the nav, which is what you saw as the navigation. If I go back forward, this is the nav. And then I have three pages, the index, which is this component here. Contact us is this component and about us is that component there. Those are pretty straightforward pages. Let me show you what they contain. The index page just displays the index. The about us displays about us and the same for contact us. So nothing special in there. So this is the solution to the issue. First of all, I have a store called data.js where I say that the entry point, basically the page shown is the forward slash. In this case, the forward slash for me is the index page. So if you look at the app.svel, you will see that I call the nav bar and then I have some if statements. Let me break them into spaces so you can see it. It basically says that if page shown which is actually coming from here, from the store, which was this page shown there. So I do an if statement. If the page shown is the forward slash, in this case it is, I will display the index component. You can see that page shown is actually set to be the forward slash. If the page shown is about us, we will display the about us component, which is here and the same happens with contact us if the page shown is contact us we display the contact us component pretty straightforward simple here comes the trick to enable the back and forward button in your app to this build, you will have to have the following lines this line just tells that the entry point of your application is the forward slash. This is called the replace state. You can set it to be anything, but since the entry point of your app will always be the index page, you set this to be the forward slash that we used. I am not going to use time to explain all the attributes on this function, so you can go and read more about it if you're interested. The, the purpose of the video is to get it up and working. Then we have this add event listener pop state. This means that your application is going to be listening on clicks when the user does the back or forward button. So when the user clicks on those buttons, it will trigger the pop state. And what we do there, we just say that the page shown, which is coming from the store, is going to be whatever this last argument is. In this case, it will be any of the things I will show you in a minute. So these are the lines that you need to put in your system. I will put these lines under the video description. So now let's go to the nav as well. And what I have here is the following. I say that when the user clicks on the home link, I show you the link again, this link there, we will prevent default and then we're going to show the page, we're going to call the show page function, which is this function there. This function just grabs the URL being the event that will be the click, the target is the element that you click on, and we will get the href attribute. So if the user clicks on this link there, the href will be the forward slash. If the user clicks on the link there, the href will be the about dash as and so for the contact dash as. Then we add this line of code 
the one that you see here, it just says that we're going to push on a state and the URL, the last argument will be the URL. So in this case, if you click on this one, the last argument, the URL will be the forward slash or about us or contact us. And then we change the store that we imported there to be the new URL. As soon as this happens, let me save this. As soon as this happens, the URL on the page shown will change and therefore the app.svelte will also change these if statements accordingly. So I save and I save and now we're going to test the app. I'm going to go to localhost 5000. I will close the old one. So this is a fresh one. Click on about us, click on contact us, back, back, forward, forward. And as you can see, you have friendly URLs there because it says contact us, just, about us, and then the index page. Get the video from the video, get the code from the video description. And thank you for watching this video.